Hey guys, I actually recompiled the Trinity Core server for the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. And like my last compile from July 2017, I'm going to share it again. In addition, I will try to explain you this time how you can use it. Because I got a lot of kind feedback in the past from other created repacks, but usually some problems appeared. Right now, this one has been compiled on the 10th of January 2018. Please take note that I will probably um, update this one sometimes while time goes by. So let's get things started. First, download the compressed archive and make sure that you have an archive program like for example Vinra installed and extract the archive. It should look like this similar. Um, there's a link to Vinra in the description below as well. The next step is to check that your Windows system is up to date. You might need to manually install .NET FX 4.5 or higher, which usually gets installed by updating your Windows. You also need to install YC Redist. This contains needed system runtime components for Windows and C++ applications. Usually many current games do install these libraries as well. If your extraction has been completed, just dive into the directory. Inside you will find more information regarding the server, as well as some previously mentioned tools. Now, Head back and go into the server subdirectory. You'll find this one here. Inside, there's the MySQL bat stored, which simply starts the database server and was once provided by Jordi Ferry, also named Judy. A small window like this here will appear and pop up. And if it's run through like this, the database server should be running and you but already access it if you want by using, for example, IDSPL. It's a database management program. The credits are stored inside the archive. They're pretty simple. And like, they are being general. You could open up IDSPL like this. And if you're inside here, you could always manage and change stuff on the database. If you've done that probably, add back once. Now we can start the off server access which will start the login server, as well as the world server action, which will start the game server. As you see, it's just loading for quite some seconds. But if it goes without arrows, it should show like this. Now the game server is already running. If it does crash or give some errors, you can usually check the logs, which stores some information why it crashed. If messages like missing DLL files appear, you should probably check your Windows again, whether it's up to date, because often those messages disappear because your system misses some of these DLL files due to a lack of updating your Windows. If everything went smooth and your server is still running, next you should take my example, realmless WGF file, or simply edit yours inside your World of Warcraft directory and the data and your desired language. Into simply that realmless 127.0.0.1. In order to create new accounts, just head into your world server and you have to type in some things like this. Just simply write into your world server dot account create um, your desired account name and your desired password. After you use enter, that account will create it. Afterwards, you should um, input into your world server dot accounts at GM level your desired account name. Free is for the permission level. You have almost any rights for in-game comments, etc. Minus one. After you have done that, you can just launch the World of Warcraft game and easily log in with your previously created account name and account password, or just use administrator. in order to log in. If you got some errors like you're stuck in the login screen or if it doesn't take you to your character or to the character creation page, um, that might be a problem with your firewall. Um, in order to fix that, you probably must create an exception for your firewall for the world server.exe in order to stop locking you getting into your realm or simply turn off your firewall on your own risk. And yeah, now you're ready to play. 
Hey! If you encounter circumstances or other problems, feel free to write into the comments below and let me know. If you've made it here, you will find almost the same wall which I've provided on my old repack. And if you appreciated the video, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel and feel free to join our community on Discord. I wish this video helped you out a lot. Despite this, I know that setting up a server is basically not an easy thing for everyone. So, actually, do you want me to show you how I've compiled this trinity cross source? Just let me know, write in the comments below. I wish you tons of fun using this repack. Have a good one guys and see you again. Bye.